Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to FTD Speaks. So, question is, Jordan Peterson, is he gonna become a Muslim? Well, according to Muhammad Hijab, that's exactly what's gonna happen. I think that really Islam is starting to make sense for him. There's everything that he wants from an ideology or from an idea or from a way of life. And I think that he is courageous enough. I do believe he's courageous enough if he does believe in Islam to announce that and to make that public. Oh, is when it comes that what's going to happen? Discussion, right? Yeah. How well received do you think it was by him and by the audience? It was one of the most well received things. I probably think it was the most well received things I've done. Wow. Especially with non Muslims. Uh, I think the amount of. Um, with him, I mean, as you saw in that particular thing, it was well received with him, and I've built a relationship with him, I hope. Because uh, the thing is with, with, with Peterson, I think he appreciates disagreeableness. I mean, he says it himself. People that, you know, make it in life are those who are disagree. And people that are yes men around him, I don't think he respects that too much. So the hmm. fact that I wasn't afraid in my public discourses to show my disagreement with him, but at the same time, try and show him respect and not be antagonistic to him or provocative to him or disrespectful to his placement, that was a very, very hard thing to do. Because mm -hmm. it's easier to kind of let your punches go, if you like. You're doing one thing, you don't have to moderate yourself, you don't have to mitigate your own responses. But with Peterson, it was difficult because I had to make sure that I played the fight, I held the stick by the middle. And so I felt like, um, in many ways, the fact that I was restraining myself from, from being... Um, overly brash or all of the other kind of i would say vices that i have typically in my personality structure i was trying to restrain them i think from that angle it was good because it allowed me to work on my weaknesses hmm. more than accentuate my strengths and so anything that allows you to work on your weaknesses rather than accentuate your strengths i think is a golden opportunity and one that will build your character of course you get to so learn from that from angle, it. i think it, it, it was good for me and hopefully it was good for him as well and it's been viewed by almost 2 million people now. So the time is pretty good. And it's one of the most, I think, if not the most commented on video on his channel, than his entire channel. So mm. uh, there's a lot of engagement. I think it was positive. And the aim of the game really is to get, is to make the environment a more tolerable one for the Muslim community in the West and to build bridges of communication and understanding. And I think that those objectives were met. Hmm. Yeah, 100%, very good. 100%, especially from what I've seen as well. I think alhamdulillah, it was very well received. So when it comes to Jordan Peterson, how is he off the camera compared to on the camera? Is there any difference? I think he's, you know, I think he's a pretty authentic guy, to be honest with you. I think I do actually think he's an authentic guy. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I haven't really spoken to him too much off the camera to, to be able to make an informed judgment about him. Especially from our paradigm, we have to kind of like be with the person a lot, travel with them, do business with them, that kind of thing, before we can actually make a judgment on the character. But mm -hmm. we can give him the benefit of the doubt. And I think that really Islam is starting to make sense for him. Hmm. I hope it's going to start making more sense for him as the time goes on, because it's everything that he wants from an ideology or from an idea or from a way of life. It's everything that he's been speaking about, all the diagnoses that he's had of uh, gender relations in the West is... A lot of it, I'm not going to say all of it, but much of it is in line with the Islamic discourse. So mm -hmm. I think that he can, uh, and obviously his anti-Nihilist discourses and uh, and so on and so forth, a lot of it is commensurate with Islam. So yeah. I, hope that he, I hope that he looks into that properly and, and he gives it a chance. And I think that he is courageous enough, I do believe he's courageous enough, if he does believe in Islam, to announce that and to make mm -hmm. that public. Because to be honest with you, like, you know, for him to have me on his podcast, knowing what kind of a personality I am, right? Uh, and he did know what kind of things I did in the past and whatever, I think is a show of bravery. I think it's a show of courage. And I think it will be equally a show of courage, if not more so, if he was to convert to Islam, it would probably be one of the biggest conversions uh, of the 21st century. Hmm. And so if we can in any way be a facility of that or facilitate that, then that would be amazing. Some pretty interesting comments there from Muhammad Hijab about Jordan Peterson. And this goes back to their conversation that they had. It was a, a video chat conversation. And Muhammad Hijab, during that time, he had actually recited Quran to Jordan Peterson. 
And, you know, since then, everybody's been talking about that clip. Some people said Jordan Peterson got really emotional. Others were like, actually, he didn't really care. But either way, this is from Muhammad Hijab. He's, he's saying based on his, uh, his conversations with Jordan Peterson, it looks like he's a pretty open person. And if he was to actually embrace Islam and accept it as an ideology and a religion, he would be brave enough to announce it. It wouldn't be something that he would be hiding, being like, oh yeah, I, I converted in secret, you know, because I don't want people to judge me. He's saying that, you know, this is something that he would come out publicly with and say. And he also commented on, well, it, it looks like Islam is making sense to him and more and more and more sense because a lot of his ideologies and his conclusions that he's come up with are in line with Islam. So is it a big stretch to say that, you know, Jordan Peterson pretty soon could convert to Islam? I don't think it's a big stretch because people, you don't know what's going on in people's minds and you, you don't know how they're thinking about things, how they're reasoning, how they're viewing religion and things and information that are coming at them. So I don't think it's a big stretch to say that Jordan Peterson would convert. As a matter of fact, I think it could possibly happen really soon actually. But either way, guys, it's really good to see, you know, Muhammad Hijab and uh, people like Jordan Peterson, uh, you know, just facilitating conversations about uh, religion and uh, culture and having more acceptance, not just for the religion of Islam, but also for other people's beliefs. I think that's the main goal here. You know, there's a lot of Muslim content creators right now who are really doing their best to change the view, the negative stigma that Islam has. And, you know, they're making a lot of progress in here. And at the same time, there's a lot more other people with different ideologies that I think Muslims are a lot more open to have conversations with. And at the same time, I think that Muslims are having conversations with people from all different backgrounds, with different ideologies, a lot more than they previously would have. So yeah, very interesting to notice, guys. Either way, that's my two cents on this. Curious to know what your thoughts are, and I'll catch you guys in the next video where I look at another topic relating to religion and spirituality. See you guys soon, later.